All right, so I know I just posted the reveal of this beautiful accent wall, and we're not going to take it down, but we are going to change it. So I'm going to revamp our master bedroom. When we first bought the house, everybody told me not to paint my walls white, and I listened for whatever reason. I don't listen to anybody, but I did, and I painted the entire house this gray color, right? It's a beautiful gray. It is called On the Rocks by Sherwin-Williams, but between the furniture and the bedding and everything else, it's got to go. I'm done. I'm over it. I've had enough. Today I'm going to paint the furniture. I'm going to paint the two little nightstands and this dresser. I did paint it not too, too long ago. It is a dark gray color. And since I'm getting rid of all of the gray, I am going to paint it black. So after I paint the furniture, I'm going to paint the walls. They will be very different. You can see the swatches over there. Those are not the colors I'm painting the room, sorry. And I'm gonna actually paint the entire room, so even the bathroom and the hallway, everything over there as well. Not gonna time lapse it, because you've seen me paint enough furniture, but this is the start of the little room makeover, and I got some fun little other projects to go on in here as well. Okay, don't know where we left off, but today I'm going to Finally finish the corners here. They just need to be like tightened up a little bit with the green paint. And then we're gonna work on this side of the room. So I don't know that I've like fully shown this side of the room, but right to the right is the entrance right here. And we kind of have the dog bed there. No curtains, nothing. So I got curtains that match these and I'm going to hang them here in the ceiling. The curtains should be delivered this weekend, but I at least have the rods I can put up, and then I want to hang a plant in the center. I did get a different TV. It's not really new. It was gifted to us from his parents. It's the same size, but I'm going to mount the newer one on the wall. This one's kind of big and clunky, and it's like 10 years old, and um, it's so freaking heavy. Not even a smart TV. Um, which is fine. I mean, we have an Amazon Fire Stick, but I really want to get it mounted onto the wall, put my LED strips on there, and then this weekend, we've got a new project for this little girl. We got her a new purple mattress, a smaller one, and I'm going to be building the dreamiest boho dog bed frame that there ever was. So let's get working on this side of the room. Okay, so I do need help. I cannot lift it. It's not even heavy, it's just wide. Okay, well, let's take this off. Okay, are we ready? Ta-da! So this is a 55. It doesn't look like that on camera, but
but I do have my wide angled lens on, so if I switch it, it looks a little bigger, but not right. Not really, but got it up, got the lights working. I need to sync the app to the phone so that I can control it and set her on a timer and all that, but I'm so happy that it's finally off the dresser and I can continue working on this corner. So next is we're gonna hang the curtain rods. The curtains are not in yet. They should be here tomorrow. They're gonna just be the same ones as here. I got different ones, but then I was like, why would I do that? I don't understand. And then to finish up this corner after I hang the plant and the rods is I am making a new dog bed frame. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, here's where we're at. Hey, watching Jane the Virgin. I got Riley's new purple mattress. I still haven't let her lay on it yet. Today, we are building. So I got my different size. Okay, you can ignore the weather stripping, the white pieces, those are not going, but we have our one by twos, and then I got some two by twos, which are gonna act as the base frame and the legs. And then we're gonna do burlap instead of cane i really wanted to do cane but she's gonna ruin it and it was so expensive cane webbing i would have needed nine feet and it would have cost 88 dollars whereas i got um two yards of this which will still cover and um it was i think less than five dollars it was buy one get one or 50 percent off so what I'm going to do first is we're going to build the frame. I'm going to separate all this. This is a whole separate project. So I'm going to measure out my 2 by 2s for the bottom of the frame, and I'm going to start cutting those first. All right, it's a new day. We got the frame built. So all I did on two sides is I did some pocket holes and secured them with one and a quarter inch wood screws. So now the next step is to make the slats that go in between uh, the support slats. So let's do that.
doesn't bother me, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This came out way better than I could have ever imagined. The natural wood matches other elements in my room with the natural tones and the bench that is currently behind you has the natural wood so i'm so excited i can't wait to show her so i think i'm gonna call her in let's see riley come here look at your new bed do you love it do you love it Oh, do you love it? Huh? Do you love the bed? Oh, you got eye boogers. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Okay, no lick. Look at it. You got a new bed and a new blankie. <gasps> Where's your ball? Yeah. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Do you love it? Oh, I hope you love it. Is it so soft? Oh, what a good girl. That's a good girl. You're so good. Well, I think she loves it. So thanks for watching and tune in next time. Bye, guys. Oh, thank you.